we get started, I want to show you guys a little bit of a secret on Starship Mario. If we go in here, we find a secret pipe to the engine room. Pretty cool, huh? Hey everybody, it's the Mechmaster 14. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we visited the Hytale Falls Galaxy and ate some really hot peppers. And we got a letter from our good friend the Chimp, challenging us to a game in a previous galaxy. So, we're going to head to that previous galaxy today. So, let's get playing. See, I told you guys I'd be saying that at the start of every video. Alright, so we go, we go back to World 1. And right here, we can, we can see that the chimp, the chimp is here because it has his little face icon. So we have the Chimp Stomp Challenge. So hey, look, there he is. Finally! Say, hey, I'm the greatest game player in the galaxy. They call me the chimp. Nice mustache. I got the highest score of 10,000 points in this game. Pretty simple. Just summon the enemies, then grab the coins. You can match my top score. <laughs> and I'll give you a star. And some respect, maybe. So, are you game on or what? Going for 10,000 points. Good luck. Gonna need it, pal. Alright, so we have 120 seconds to get 10,000 points. The way this game works is that if you stomp on an enemy, you get uh, three, you get 100 points for each enemy you stomp on. However, you can string together combos to get up to a, up to 300 points. Uh, dang it, I wasn't able to string together combos. Also, coins are worth 300 points each, and I'm pretty sure Starbit. Yeah, Starbit's worth 10 points each, so. Not really worth it going for starters, but if you pick them up along the way, it will really help. Also, I'm pretty sure there's one last thing here. I'm pretty sure if you get a one-up, it's not not technically a one-up, but if you get a one-up mushroom, then it's ten, then it's a uh, thousand points. And dang it, I wanted I wanted to get that guy's coin. There we go, we got a good combo there, and it may not look like we're doing too good at right now, but trust me, we're going to, we're going to get a lot of points up here. Alright, I think I should have done that a little differently, but... Dang it. Alright, so unfortunately we can not get a good combo going there, but I think we should still have... Ow, they keep hitting me. Alright, so we already made a pass, so pretty sure we got this. And also, to prove I wasn't lying about the one-ups, if we get up here... Yeah, one-ups are a thousand points, and I believe in this block... Oh, there's more coins. So yeah, I smashed your high score! Fantastic! That's 12,240 points! You might be an amazing rival to my own skill. Here's your star. I really, I really think this monkey is an awesome addition to the game. And trust me, this isn't the last time we'll be seeing him. Alright, so we have our... I guess, I guess it's like our gold medal or something. Alright, so our 17th star, that galaxy is now complete. Star bits, coins, yeah, great stuff. Alright, so now we can head back, and I believe now we should probably head on to a new galaxy. By the way, there is this portal right here in, in each world if you ever want to head back into World 1 or World 2. 
Alright, so we can get some star bits here and that. And now we want to head to the Boulder Bowl Galaxy. Rock and Rollo Dilla. Sounds a bit weird. Alright, so we have some Octumbas right here. We can destroy them very easily. And once we've done all that, we have a new power-up. We get it, and you transform into Rock Mario. Shake the remote to roll over your enemies. Alright, so we can do stuff like this. And I feel bad for hitting this toad. I'm never gonna be able to break this thing. I can't believe that Kevin is making me do this. Kevin's cruel. Alright, but luckily we can just hit it a couple times with the boulder. And there's our comet medal for the galaxy. Alright, so we can very easily jump, we can knock down bridges. And look, we have some we have some bowling pins. And dang I wasn't able to get a strike. Alright, so we have our checkpoint. And this is where this power-up is so fun, you can just like bowl over enemies so easily. Even these rocks are easier to break, like you can just like hit them immediately and they break. Alright. Ow. Screw you! Alright, so we lost our power up. Yeah, you lose the Boulder Bowl power. You use the Rock Mar. You lose the the Rock Mario power up when you get hit. I can. Alright, so I don't think you have to destroy all the boulders, but I'm just going to do that because you can. You get a lot of star bits from destroying. Them. And there's one enemy left, and let's just hit him because it's it's fun too. It's fun, to, it's fun to ram these enemies over with the boulder. Alright, so we lose the power up and we get into a launch star with it. Get here. You need help, shoot one of the servers at those shiny spots in the ground. A coin will pop out and restore some of your life. So he's referring to these things, so if we aim our pointer at it and shoot a star bit by pressing B, we can very easily get a coin should we be low on health. Alright, so we, so we have these boulders and chain chomp balls here. These chain chomps are actually a little bit more dangerous than the boulders in the sense that you can't you can't break them with the boulder ball. There's no way you can break the not break the chain chomps using the uh, the boulder. Alright, and there is also something with I think I am gonna talk to him because yeah. Welcome to the Luma Shop. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy something. I normally always get the life shrooms because it's so... I, I just feel like it's so much more useful than a one-up when considering the fact that a one-up will just... one-ups will always just reset back to four when you turn off the game. So that's why I always... that's why I normally always go for the, the life shrooms. Anyway, we take this launch charge to this spherical planet and I'm pretty sure you guys know it's coming. A boss fight, featuring the cutest looking thing I've ever laid my eyes on. Alright, me, I'm pretty sure his name's Rolo Dillo, and you just have to smack him where else but his butt. Yeah, your butt isn't as mighty as mine. Ow. Alright, so we'll try to roll after you, you have to roll faster. After he trips himself up, you can hit him again. Pretty easy. He's going to do some tricks to avoid falling this time. And oh. Hit him. Yeah, if you're too slow. Oh, I, I wasn't too slow. Yeah, I was gonna say if you're too slow, he will he will avoid he will get back up and not not get hit. 
But hey, I was actually I was actually fast enough. All right, I believe this is the final hit. Yep, that was the final hit. So we abuse this adorable little creature, and that gets us our star. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that dude's name is Rollo Dillo. Hey, we're back in the engine room. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what we're going to see here. Alright, so we got the Comet Medal. Star bit. Going. You seem to have brought that... You seem to have brought back a... Uh, what's that? A rock? Huh. Yeah, good work there, pal. I guess. Well, it looks like you got some room for it. So I don't mind having it around. I really need to. I really need to be better at voicing these characters because I stutter a lot. All right, so I believe we have time for one more because those missions didn't exactly take very long. And hey, you're already back up here. All right, so we head back here. I'm pretty sure no, there's nothing else we can get at Boulder Bowl Galaxy right now. Actually, what what order, what order should we do the galaxies in? Cosmic, uh, cosmic. We have the Cosmic Co Galaxy or the Wild Glide Galaxy. Um, I think we'll I think we'll head to Cosmic Co first. Yahoo! All right, so the Twin Falls Hideaway. that we can spin in the middle of to get eight star bits. And also a Koopa shell. You can spin next to Koopas and pick them up. And also you can spin again to throw their shell. Also, we have a brand new mechanic. Swimming. I think this is new at least. You can press A to swim quickly. However, you can also shake the Wii remote. I personally just... I personally prefer to just press A because it doesn't tire out my hand. And also, if you pick up a Koopa shell, you can swim extra fast and not have to press A repeatedly or do the queer uh, mode repeatedly. Also, this slimy enemy that will try to block your path and hit you will actually die to the Koopa shell. So that's also pretty useful. Well, not the Koopa shell itself, but you know the Koopa shell's light. But anyway, we've already got our, we already got this, the Galaxy's Comet Medal. Also, can I can I just say that I love the music in here? Like, it's just so peaceful. Like, listen. It's just it's just such peaceful music. Anyway, we ground pound on this, and that freezes the entire planet, and probably killing a lot of fish. Yippee! It's frozen. Use the Wii Remote to start ice skating. Uh, actually, okay, no, the, those fish down there are fine. I was already like, did we kill a bunch of fish? Alright, how many coins do you need? Will you give me only 15? Okay. So obviously we're not going to be doing that in this video, but we will be doing that in the next one. I promise. But anyway, we can we can ice skate by pressing the weird mode and also do some, some sick tricks. But anyway, what we want to do is we want to come over to these to these two waterfalls that we can now wall jump up since it's frozen. And this is where the star lies. We hit the crystal twice, and that makes our star appear. So we get our star, and I believe this is the last star for the episode. Yeah. 
Alright, so our 19th star, our 11th comet medal. Starship Mario can now advance. And that's it for this video. Okay, so... Next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we'll be returning to Cosmic Cove Galaxy to get the remaining stars there. And also exploring a few new galaxies. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe. That would really help out the channel. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. McMaster, 